It's being billed as Canada's most affordable mid-size car. It's also the most powerful. On this edition of Test Drive, the Chrysler 200. To say the Chrysler 200's imported from Detroit commercial, which starred rapper Eminem, caused a little controversy is an understatement. Thankfully, it turned out to be a tempest in a teacup that left some politicos asking what was wrong with Made in America. If hackneyed is where you're at, then there's nothing wrong with it. Chrysler, like the once proud home of Motown and the American auto industry, is making a serious comeback. In the past, I've always thought Chrysler interiors were, to be quite frank, crappy. This 200, it takes a huge step forward. For example, the crash pad is very nice material, the instrumentation is clean and uncluttered, and there's a very, very nice analog clock that sits at the top of the center stack. And if you go with the limited edition, well, you get a ton of equipment. There is, however, one thing that really does mar the overall execution. This piece right here, and on the door pulls, well, it's already shiny, and this is a low mileage car. Now, when you've got leather seats, it becomes so blatantly obvious that this is vinyl, and very tacky vinyl at that. The limited tested featured Chrysler's sweet 3.6 liter Pentastar V6. It is this engine that makes the 200 the most powerful in the midsize segment. It pushes 283 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque at 4,400 RPM. To say this puts some spring in the 200 step is again an understatement. Normally when a car offers a choice of a four-cylinder or a V6 engine, picking the V6 comes with a penalty, fuel economy. Well, on this Chrysler 200, there's a very refreshing change. If you do pick the V6, you get 110 extra horsepower. However, the highway fuel economy, it only goes up by 0.4 liters per 100 kilometers. Now that's what you call having your cake and eating it too. Another area of improvement is found in the suspension. It has been reworked to take the harshness out of it without making the 200 feel like an armchair. In fact, it's not pushing things to describe the 200 as being sharp to the feel. The recalibrated steering follows this lead. The on-center feel is poised and when turned into a corner, the feel is both linear and predictable. Now that I did not expect. Any mid-sized sedan worth its salt has got to have some space. When you look at this 200, there is plenty of space back here for two adults to sit in complete comfort. And when you get around to the back end here, you'll find a nice large trunk. 14 cubic feet or 385 liters, split folding rear seat backs, a ski pass through, nice large opening, and these cantilever hinges. They mean that when the trunk is packed, you don't crush anything. So what's the hang up? No handle. The Limited's upsized 18-inch wheels and 225.50 tires then add some extra sharpness to the overall dynamics. The one thing I did not care for was the rather wooden feel to the brake pedal. The system does deliver short stops, but it takes a lot of pedal pressure to get the desired reaction. The rework of this Chrysler 200 has been done exceptionally well indeed, especially if you look at the V6 model. In fact, the V6 is so good, it basically makes the four-cylinder model redundant unless you're shopping on a tight budget. As for the interior, a marked step forward, although I wish they'd get rid of that cheap vinyl. So here's the question, where were you 32 years ago? I know some of you weren't even a glint in your father's eye. As for me, well, I was in diapers, but found time to get motoring TV off the ground. And today I like to think we've got one of the best automotive video libraries in the world. If you agree, please give us the thumbs up and also subscribe. We really appreciate it.